Welcome to the second installment of our tutorial on how to use advanced ads to manage your ad codes. In this tutorial, I will show you a simpler way of organizing your ads to make sure we avoid showing ads on pages where they're not supposed to. So let's start and go to the ad section. Okay, now let's create one of the or let's say the first ad unit that we want to create. So let's say this one is going to be home one ad unit. And I want to call this home one 300 by 250. Now, normally your account manager will give you like codes that look like this. So if you have a customized setup, let's say you have a different set of ads for your home page and then another set of ads for your other pages, then you are most likely going to have different headers. So different ad maps means different headers. So we don't send null or invalid ad requests to the bidders if those ad units are not supposed to show up on the page. So let's say you have this header script for your home page and the corresponding body tag. So of course you can have as many body tags as you wish, depending on how many ads you would like to show for that uh, certain page. Then of course you have this header tag for your other pages and you have the corresponding body tag. So in this tutorial, we're gonna show home one ad in the home page and the rest we're gonna show the other ad unit. All right, so now I have, I'm on the advanced ads. I'm creating the first ad unit, which is home one. And here, like I mentioned in the previous tutorial, you can choose the creative type depending on the type of code that you have. So if you are provided by a specific code like this one, you're gonna have, say this, Choose plain text and code and paste it right here. And then we're going to choose centered. And we have the display conditions. So we will choose specific page. And we want this to be on the home page. Now, I was not able to discuss where you can get the title or ID in a previous tutorial. So now let me show you. There are two ways you can locate the ID or the title for your page. So let's say you open this and you're logged in to WordPress. You have an edit page option at the top. You click on that, grab the title name for that page. Or here's the easier one. You go ahead and right click, choose view page source. Next thing you need to do is try to find the body tag or the opening body tag. And then you're going to see class, page ID. This is the ID for your page. So we now go back to WordPress. And then we choose, um, no, we have chosen a specific page. And the ID was 156. And it can automatically detect the page. So we just choose that. All right, if there are any other specific pages where you want this ad unit to show up, you go ahead and specify it here. Now, let me just go back a little bit. Since this is a dummy code right here, I'm going to choose an image ad for now so that you will be able to see the ad live on the site. So we select the image just like how we did it earlier. So I'm selecting the 300 by 250 and insert. So this is just for the purpose of this tutorial. And of course, you are gonna have to publish. Now we're gonna decide where to show this ad as a placement. So for this one, for example, I want this to show up on the sidebar. So we click that. And now you see advanced ads right here, right below the search box. If it's not there yet, you can just go ahead and drag it there or like so, or if you want to add another one, like 
in another section, um, feel free to do so. So here is where you have to customize it. So we're going to choose the home 300 by 250 for this. Title is not really mandatory. You can go ahead and save it. So you now have the home one right below the search box right here. Okay. Proceed and go ahead, create all the other ad units that you need or that you're going to run. So let's create another ad. And this one is the other ad unit that will show up on the other pages. And still, you have to select plain and text code and insert the body tag provided to you by Monetize More for this one, the div ID, like so. But again, I'm going to use an image ad for now. Okay. And you select centered. And this one for the condition, this is going to show up across all pages. So if the ID is not 156, I'm going to have to display it. Then go ahead and save it or publish. For this one, I want this displayed right before content. And there it is. Update. Cool. All right. The next thing we need to do is create those two header tags. So we now have the body tags create as necessary. Just click new add. I'm going to create now those two different header tags that I have. So I'm going to call this homepage underscore header. Again, you can choose plain and text code and then grab your header tag or header script right here and paste it in here. All right. And then you can go ahead and choose a condition again. And this will only show up, click add, if the page ID or title is home page. Right there. And then you can go ahead and publish. Let's go back to the ad section and create the other header that we have. So click new ad. And now I'm going to call this other pages underscore header. Still choose plain text code. And here we're going to have to load this page right here. Or this header script. Okay. And then our condition is that it's going to show up on pages that is not home. All right, and then publish. Okay, so now we have all the ads defined in here, all our body tags, including our header tags. We're now going to create a group as the next step. So let's go click add new group and we give it a title. So for this one, I'm going to create it for the header first. And then save it. And now you can add some ads in here or edit the settings within that group. So let's go ahead and edit first. Now, if you're going to um, show like one ad or one set of code at a time, you choose random ads. But if you're going to show a specific number of ads at the same time on the same page load, then you can do ordered ads and then choose the number of ads that will be visible and specify the ad units here. Okay, so since this is a header tag, we want random ads and we only want to display one at a time. Now, let's, going to, uh, let's now choose the header right here for home page, click add, and let's choose other pages header as well. This time it's gonna be number nine for the weight, and then click add. So now what this tool will do is check first if the user is loading the home page, then load this header right here. Otherwise, if the condition isn't, is not met because we specified earlier 
when we created the ad for this that only show it if it's a home page. Otherwise, this header will load instead. All right, so we'll go ahead and update. And there you go. Next, let's go ahead and create another group for the body and we'll call it body group. You can give it a name, uh, whatever you like, however you like. So for the body group, let's edit. And this time we can do ordered ads. That is if you're gonna have multiple ad units to show up on the same page, right? So for example, um, for homepage, let's say I have two ads. Then I'm gonna choose the body tag one, and then let's just pretend this is body tag two for homepage. I can just go ahead and do that. They can have the same weight and they will all be visible when the home page or yeah, when the home page loads. So now you can choose ordered ads and how many ad units will show up per page on your website. So if there are three, four, choose four, three, whatever. But this time, um, I would suggest you choose the maximum number of ads that will show up. So let's say on the home page you have two ads. On the other pages you have five ads. Then that means you have to choose five. And then just uh, put the weight in here. Advanced ads will not display the ad unit unless the condition is met. So again, let's go back to that settings when, when we configure the condition that, okay, you only show this on specific pages and that's it. All right, so now we're gonna have to display just one because on this tutorial, we're just displaying one ad for the home page, one ad for the other pages. But we're gonna have it on the same weight. Their conditions are different as well. So they're gonna show up as specified in the settings earlier and we're gonna update groups. Third step is to create the placement. So for the placement, we will now have to specify which of these groups will show up in the header and which one will show up in the body. So earlier when we created the ads, we just defined that these are the codes that we need. And then in the group, we are like grouping them together to make it easier and to avoid ads from showing up on pages where they're not supposed to. So now on placement is where we specify which section of the site or code will this um, show up? Is it in the header tag or head section of the, of the site or is it in the body section? So we first go create a placement for the header. So select head and then you can specify the placement name. So header placement. And then you choose the ad or the group. So of course, we have to select the header group because this is for the header and save the new placement. All right. Next, let's create another placement. And this time we'll create one for the body. And then we're gonna call it body placement. And select the body group. Again, naming here is arbitrary. You can name it whatever you like. Save the new placement. And now we're done and we're ready to test. All right, guys, perfect. We're now on the home page and we have the 300 by 250 placement right below the search box as we have specified. And now if we go to the source code, we have here the home script or the header tag for home page. Cool. Now let's go ahead and check the other pages. Let's say, so it's right before the content. Okay, we didn't specify any margins and all other settings in there. So that's the reason why it's right there sitting above the first line. So again, very easy to use and a lot of flexibility. So now we'll double check the source code to make sure it also has the corresponding header tag. And yes, it does. So here you can see that it's loading the other script or header for this section. All right, so there you go, guys. 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.